this is Maniac for Toys, and we're here today with the Nerf Rebel Pink Crush. This was originally released in 2013 and contained four darts and originally released at $10 in the United States. I got this from a used lot of Nerf Blasters, and it did come with other a part to it. There's supposed to be a pink bow that you can attach onto the front of this thing to give it a little bit more flair. But for me personally, I'm going to review this without it. I know it's probably not proper to do so because I'm not showing every part of the initial product, but it doesn't really affect it. It's just there cosmetically and doesn't really change anything. And in fact, I would say it actually looks better without that extra bow on the front of it. You can see the picture on the screen. So this is kind of a basic pistol type blaster where it fires one dart at a time and it actually works very good in my opinion. You simply load one dart into the front, you have a ring on the back to pull it back to prime, very common for a lot of blasters this size or even a little larger than this, and you just press on the trigger to fire a dart. This works very well compared to other ones of its class from my experience. And keep in mind, this is something that I didn't even receive brand new. I got this in a used lot, it's already had some play over time. And I still was able to get 50 feet with this thing just firing it forward. I mean, if I angle it a little bit more, I could probably get closer to 60 feet, which is pretty good for a blaster this size. I really respect this thing, and probably with a little bit of cosmetic work here and there, it could be even better. I'm mean, not saying I have to change the paint on it. I, for right now, I'm okay with how it's designed. A lot of the Rebel Blasters have a similar color scheme, where it's white as the base color, magenta for some of the features, and then like this lavender purple pink that's added around for the printing on it. And yes, it does make a lot of the blasters feel samey and very towards a certain demographic, but you could argue the same thing happens with elite blasters in blue and having a lot more orange into them. But with all that aside, it actually is really nicely cosmetically done. This is a very nice layout of print on both sides of the blaster, which isn't common for a lot of Nerf blasters, and it almost wraps around enough to be a continuous design here. If not for the Nerf Rebel logo there, this would go all the way around, which is pretty good. Something I haven't really seen that much. Now, going on from there, this is also really good because they added a feature they didn't even have to add. They have a tactical rail on top of this thing, so you could add a small accessory such as this 4 dart clip, and you could give yourself an easy way to reload. If it fits right in the holster, you won't even have to worry about it that much. But this works very well as a small secondary blaster, and compared to a lot of the ones that I've used, whether they were new or used or older, you know, just came off the shelf, this is pretty nifty. So, I would still play around with this thing a little bit more for any kind of game. Maybe even use it with some more competitive stuff, depending on if there's some good mods for it. And I'll have to see about holstering it, because it would be very nice to have as an on-hand uh, secondary. This is very compact, it's very easy to use. I don't even mind the ring that much, because I do go here and there as far as ring pulls for these kinds of blasters, but this... This seems pretty neat, and pretty, like, responsive, you know? Pretty easy to load it up and fire right away when you need to in a dire situation. I would recommend this one for the casual or even professional fans. Um, that might be fun to try out. It also has another ring along the bottom of it that could be used for holding a keychain, maybe holding a tag or a flag on there, um, maybe a way of holding it onto your blaster or onto your, uh, onto your belt, I don't know, you, but the possibility is there, just like the tactical rail on top, it may not be necessary, but it's useful, you could get something out of that, if you're the right kind of person, and playing around with this thing, and this is thing that is fun to play around with. This was a surprise hit for me, thank you for watching this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, if you'd like to see more Nerf Blasters reviewed, and specific ones, you can leave a comment down below, or check out the Discord in the link in the description, or in my profile, or in the pinned comment, not, not the profile bio, I'm confusing it with some other thing. We'll see you next time with more Nerf reviews.
the lowest at 44 feet, three darts, 47, one dart, 49 and a half, one dart, 51 for three darts, 53 for another, 56 and a half for one dart, and 61 for our highest. Pretty sure this thing is stock. How is it so good?